All I do is log. Is for that them. right? Okay. And, um, well, I've been all the way with horses for many years. Then, as uh, people got older, they retired, and I got low on help. Then I put a skid steer in the wagon to load the wagons with, and that's basically about all that uh, that I've added to the woods. I still use my horses in the woods, but uh, it's uh, like I say, I won't never change. Yeah. I, I won't. I just won't bend over. Everybody yeah. want me to go skitter. I ain't going no damn skitter. <laughs> I think I have. Oh, damn. My tripod in your way, Jeff? My tripod in your way? No, you're, you're good, Bob. You're good. Oh, you oh, boy. Oh, 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 we don't want to get a do-over. Load him up, boys. Okay. My daddy never would switch over. My daddy had a man give him a practically a brand new tractor. Is that right? And he never would put it in the race. That damn thing tear your ground all to pieces. He wouldn't have it. It packed the ground. Sold the tractor. He never would. And my dad died five years ago and he never owned a tractor in his life. All he ever done, even when he farmed, was with horses. Then he drove the truck for many years, and then uh, as soon as he retired from truck, he went back to the woods and logged in the woods till he was 82. Really? Yeah, logged wow. in the woods with him, me and him, him, my brother. Uh, we all kind of logged together, which all my kin done this. Uh, several second cousins, all we done was log with team. Now, years ago, we always worked for somebody, 
and then as time went on, they didn't, uh, that wasn't available, that's when they went in for business for themselves. And I've been in business for myself now for the last, since 02, I believe. And But before that, I actually started logging. My first logging job was in, mm, I want to say, 82. I worked for my brother, and then me and my uncle worked together. Then I worked for a man by the name of Jesse Kendricks uh, for a while, and then I went ahead. Well, I was pretty much forced. If you're going to log for a living, you got to go in business for yourself. Yeah. So that's what How, I how's business? You got business, plenty of work? Plenty of work. As yeah. long as you drive a team and you shoot everybody a straight ball game, you'll get all the timber you want because you never know I've been there. Yeah. All the damage is done is when the tree falls. Right. Right. It works out and, good for me. And landowners appreciate that. Yes, no ruts, no scuffed up <coughs> timber, and you got a good stand of young timber. Since I've been logging, I have actually went back and logged. I've got one place waiting right now that I've already logged twice. Okay. And I'm fixing to log it again as soon as they can get stuff together on the easement going in there to it. Uh, so you see the benefit of what you've done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know it's weird, but I really enjoy going to the back and riding by three or four years and don't even know I've been there, yeah. which is no skin off my nose. The place don't belong to me, but I still like that. Right. I like yeah. the way that looks. Oh, 
Hold it. My only real big downside to working in the woods now is no timber cutter. I'm having to cut timber, I can't find one. Uh, which I've trained seven or eight people to cut, but most of them would be young, and I can't blame them none, because when I was young, that's what I wanted to do, is go in business. As soon as they get their feet on the ground and know what they're doing, well, they're gonna uh, part ways, go, you know, start right. they, which they lead with my blessings. It's not right, like right. we have any problems. But now they're cool. It's just hard to keep people. You ain't Especially gonna, good people, probably. You're not gonna keep timber gutters. Yeah. Who picks the trees that you cut? Some places you do, some places they do? Little boy? Uh, on the average, on average, uh, the people that I deal with, I have worked for customers that wanted everything 24 inches chest high. It had to be that big to cut it. Uh, the bite as low as I will go is 14 inches chest high. Right now, uh, most of the job is doing around 15 to 16 inches. So that leaves a lot of good young timber there. Right. Now, it depends on landowners. Landowners really need money. You know, we go that route. But I won't go no lower than 14 because you cannot do puck wood with them. If you do, all you're going to be is tired and hungry because you can't make a living doing right. that. Not, right. But not in my area because puck wood is cheap. Right. Right. <laughs> 10, 12 dollars a ton. Now, we got, from us, we got a haul at 75 miles the nearest place but uh but no i do saw logs and all my logs are cut up and i have a really exceptionally good sawmill man that, a really good friend of mine and that's helped me out as much as anything to make it this you've got to have a good sawmill man you've got to have timber to work and you got to have horses to pull them and you can't you you can start with a cheap team, but you're a lot better off to go ahead and invest the money in a good young team and start from there and don't let them get real old. Don't fall in love. It's a business. Right. If you don't do it, I mean, you know, I've had one or two that I just couldn't part with, but then they parted on me, so yeah. it don't matter. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Back 
do everything okay. uh, field work um, we'll cut well in years past we have actually cut a lot of hay with horses everything but my that's kind of where I come back from we were me and my brother both uh, we used mule horses people one time was truck patching tomatoes had I think 40 acres of tomatoes plowed every one of them one summer. 40 acres to made her, one horse. An Appaloosa horse, best damn plow horse ever plowed in my life. He was good. How old were you then doing that? Uh, was 16. Back? Okay. 16 year old. Yeah. But we do everything like that. Uh, anything to do with a horse and working, we're there. Your dad was a pretty good woodsman? Fair. Uh, yeah. daddy, daddy was, uh, he was off manure. Anything made money, he would be there, you know. But now he logged, I was, and that in turn, that put me in contact with a bunch of people who really was exceptional loggers. And you just take a run of the average type person. Uh, they can run in our area about 2,200 feet. I've had some, I've seen people go out there every day and knock 3,500 to 4,000 feet out every day. And they would learn a lot. It's a lot of tricks that wagon. Just little bitty things that really add up. 